The seventh generation Golf GTI was built on the MQB platform that is ubiquitous across the Volkswagen Group and was revealed in Berlin, Germany on September 4, 2012. The GTI began deliveries in 2013 and all models are Euro 6 emissions compliant. Throughout its production, the Golf GTI was only offered with a third generation 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine coded EA888. A three- and five-door variant were available at launch for some markets and continued late into the life of the Golf GTI. However, for some markets, the three-door was dropped after a facelift in 2017, while others had a limited supply or special editions that remained in three-door. By the end of production, the three-door was gone, and in the eighth generation of the Golf GTI, models are five-door only. The facelift model, commonly referred to as the Mark 7.5 Golf GTI, was seen as a new Golf by VW, but most informally refer to it as a facelifted Mark 7.5, and it has won a large enthusiast following, with many believing the 7.5 Gen is the peak of the Volkswagen Golf GTI, as the 8th generation moved to a new styling and interior design, although it's stuck with the same platform. There are many changes to the Mark 7.5, but they are easily identified by the digital dash and larger infotainment screen and revised exterior styling. The GTI was sold with a variety of power outputs depending on options or special edition models. The base GTI made 217 brake horsepower, with the most powerful creating 306 brake horsepower, but we'll come on to these further on in the video. During the production of the Volkswagen Golf, a variety of versions aside from the standard model were offered including an optional performance pack which is highly desirable on the used market. There was also special edition models including the 2016 GTI Club Sport that was sold with optional Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tyres and a limited slip differential. This was followed by the GTI Club Sport S in the same year, which was a three-door only edition with more power and uprated suspension and subframe compared to the regular Club Sport model. A total of 400 were produced. There was also a TCR model released in 2019, some markets were also offered a Rabbit edition in 2019 that featured styling tweaks and a Rabbit logo. First up in our guide are the areas you should look out for across the life of the 7th generation Golf GTI. As ever, our lists are non-exhaustive, and so if you know of any other common issues that we have missed, please add them in the comments below. First up, there is a note for owners and potential buyers of manual transmission models that the clutch is generally considered at its power limit from the factory. If you have any intent on tuning, it will likely reduce the service life of the clutch, and an uprated part should be considered to handle the additional power. Vehicles equipped with a sunroof may have had the seal either wrongly fitted or an inadequate sized part may have been fitted from factory. Several service bulletins and recall notices should have resolved the affected models, however it is worth checking around the sunroof of any used example. Electrical damage has occurred on some vehicles where the issue was not resolved. Washer fluid sensors are susceptible to failure if the wrong fluid is used due to their design. If you see an engine management light that points to the washer fluid, this is the most likely cause. Parcel shelf clips are susceptible to breaking if put under too much stress stress while load carrying. They can also become damaged without completely breaking, which will cause a rattle. Water ingress into the passenger footwell has been reported, caused by a crack in the mounting bracket of the door speaker. Look carefully for any signs of discoloured carpet or damp patches on the passenger side when viewing a vehicle. If you experience a poor heater performance or the fan speed is weak on all settings, then the blower motor has likely failed. Code B10BE will show up on diagnostic equipment if this is the case. If the issue only arises when using the air conditioning and is accompanied by a noise in the engine bay, then the problem is with the air conditioning solenoid valve. Any clunking sound from the front end that is not caused by worn dampers or bushings is likely from the subframe bolts. When looking to buy a vehicle, make sure that the latch and release cable for the bonnet release is operable without a large amount of effort. If so, then the mechanism is under additional stress and likely to fail. A broken bonnet release cable is a common issue across the seventh generation Golf. But as we highlight in all of our guides, for an issue to be classed as common, it is usually between one to 5% of production vehicles. Finally, the oil pan is plastic. This in itself shouldn't be a problem, although heat cycling of the pan has caused a small number of owners to report the need for replacement. It was difficult to identify whether these were just meticulous owners that had noticed a fractional difference in the oil pan or the oil pans were on the edge of failure. However, the drain plug is also plastic and must be replaced after every oil change rather than reused. Expect oil leaks if the plastic plug is reused. Next up are the common faults with the engine and as a single unit is used we will start by mentioning issues likely to impact all power outputs and then specify any particular issues. First up though a reminder that if you want more from the miles driven we have a website and a podcast and if you're enjoying the video a like really does make a huge difference to the discoverability of videos on YouTube. As ever we appreciate every subscriber to our channel. 
The 2.0-litre third-generation EA888 engine found in the Golf GTI is a cast-iron block with aluminium head with a bore size of 82.5mm and stroke of 92.8mm for a total displacement of 1984cc. Fuel consumption varies slightly depending on the specification and age, but official figures hover between 43.7 mpg and 47.1 mpg. One of the reasons for the relatively low fuel consumption is that the third generation EA888 motor adds water cooling to the exhaust manifold to speed up the time it takes to warm up from a cold start and then to maintain temperatures while operating. The early Golf GTI produces 217 brake horsepower and with the performance pack is boosted to 227 brake horsepower. The performance pack also adds a limited slip differential, named VAQ, along with uprated brakes. The Club Sport models produce 306 brake horsepower, becoming the most powerful Golf GTI, a record that the late TCR model was unable to beat due to the additional exhaust restrictions introduced in 2018. The TCR produces 286 brake horsepower. First up, you should note that PCV failure is one of the more common issues found on the EA888 engine, and a common side effect will be the failure of the rear main seal, causing an oil leak. Deterioration of the plastic housing for the thermostat is one of the more common areas of coolant loss. If you can smell coolant but struggle to visually see a leak, then it's likely the culprit. The other likely cause is a failing or failed water pump. Turbocharger failure is a known fault of models fitted with the 06K145702 N unit fitted on many of the 2015 to 2017 models. A revision to the design was made after this date, and so if the unit fitted to your car, N722, then the vehicle was either fitted from factory with the uprated unit, or it has been replaced in some point in the vehicle's history. The seal from the turbo to manifold seems to be the main weak spot and the reason for the 702N turbo failures. Fault codes P0300, P0301, P0302, P0303 and P0304 are all likely signs of the ignition coil pack failure. A side note is that the final digit relates to each cylinder. So for example, P0303 would be an issue detected in cylinder number three. The code ending zero is a multiple cylinder misfire. Other signs of this failure are poor engine running and rough idle. Carbon buildup on the valves is a side effect of the injection system on these engines. Owners generally believe that every 60,000 miles, the valves need to be manually cleaned. Some believe walnut blasting is better than sandblasting. There are other types of media that can also be used. Some owners running premium fuel report better longevity and less carbon buildup, but this point becomes contentious with others believing that the use of additives on a regular basis is better. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Finally, some cars produced for model year 2015 and 2016 had recall code 20Y6 to replace the pump in the fuel tank for the EVAP system. Clogged charcoal canisters are one of the signs of these failures, and a total number of vehicles recalled for this issue exceeded 100,000. If we've missed any other common faults, please let us know in the comments below to help owners and potential buyers. For our picks, we would suggest that those with a lower budget purchase a good condition early standard model and then improve the vehicle rather than limiting selves to one of the upgraded performance packs as these demand a premium and so better condition standard models will likely be a better buy unless you can find a great deal on one of the performance pack ones. If shopping with a higher budget, go for the Mark 7.5 or wherever possible. If a three door works for your needs, that is the one that we would go for, however a five door does add practicality. 